okay? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Um, it's my first time talking to a magical hologram. Hologram? What do you mean a hologram? What does that mean? That I'm not real? What are you talking about? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, don't do that. Sorry. Yeah. You just seem tense. I was trying to break the ice. Well, at least I know this is a pretty accurate version of you. You can thank yourself for that, I guess. You had something you wanted to say to me? Yeah, um... I should have told you about your mom and, and the whole thing earlier. I mean, I was just trying to protect you from being hurt, so I just wanted to say that I'm sorry if I hurt you. But that's it? You're sorry if I hurt you? I am. Okay, then I accept your apology if you're actually sorry. What's your problem? I mean, do you seriously think that speech would have worked on me? I mean, come on, that's not what you actually wanted to say. How would you know? Because I am you, remember? <sighs> Fine. Then you tell me what it is that I want to say and I'll say That's not how this works, Hope. You have to listen. Listen to what? Even fake you is infuriating. God. Hey, Hope, what's going on? Don't pretend like you don't remember our last conversation. I just figured you'd want a fresh start. Hmm, guess even my subconscious can get stuff wrong. Touche. So did you figure out what you wanted to say yet? Uh, yeah, actually, I did. And what I wanted to say is this. I have been protecting you and putting your safety first ever since you got here. So what was I supposed to do with this secret, hmm? Just stop protecting you? I know exactly what it feels like to be an orphan, okay? I was saving you from that, so you can be mad at me, but I was doing it because I care about you. No, you were doing it because you didn't want me to leave. Because you fear being abandoned, like how your mom left and your dad left. It's why you run. This has nothing to do with my parents. Then why did you start crying when you wore a dress your dad picked out? Well, we're done. I hope you're not listening. What I said before about wanting to protect you, that was true. But I also didn't want you to go. And yeah, you know what? I hate it when people leave. I hate it. I thought I was over losing my parents. I don't know, after the last couple of days and, it, and after seeing you lying there in the woods, Thinking that you were dead. Every time I lose someone, this uh, voice in my head it tells me it's your fault. That I shouldn't even technically exist. That I'm a cosmic mistake. Oh, I don't know. I just wanted someone to think that I'm worth staying for. I'm sorry for lying to you, Landon. I wanted you to stay, because I love you. Oh, wow. <laughs> you didn't mean to say that last part, did you? No. Nope. Whoa! The first time you tell me you love me, and it's not even the real me? I'm kind of winging it here. What? <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> how, how would he react to all that, really? I mean, that was how he'd react. You know, he'd say something roguishly charming to deflect from how vulnerable you made him feel, and then, well, he'd kiss you. Probably. Probably. <laughs>